Here comes an interview, or certainly a clip, of uh, an artist who was part of my youth. Don't know about yours, you're a bit younger than I am. Yeah, so um, I, I knew some of his stuff when he was part of Big Sky. I yep. remember those songs. Yep. Uh, but he was in a number of different iterations of bands. And now he's doing solo work. So I interviewed him for Celebs Vine based off his solo work. But it was he's been a multi-decade success story in the South African music industry. Barrett Edelstein joins us. Uh, I forgot even to say welcome to you because <laughs> okay. I was caught up in what you were telling me off mic. Um, Steve Lowe is the guy we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And for those who don't know, Big Sky was um, very active during the South African apartheid years um, and made a massive impression on a lot of people. Yep. Uh, they also did some remarkable gigs Let's talk about that. Tell us about what you got chatting to Steve about. So Steve was at the 1985 concert of the park, concert in the park, mm. which was the first multiracial concert in South Africa. And he was speaking uh, about, or and tells us, about how music unifies cross cultures, cross uh, different human types, different labels, different, all yeah. of that. Music brings people together. Isn't it crazy that in 1985... They did the first multiracial concert. Mm. The mind boggles, yeah. actually, if yeah, you think it's about ridiculous, it. Ridiculous! It's really. like out of my. It's weird. How anyway, could such a thing be in in the first place? It okay. was a massive concert. Should we not spoil it? Let's let Steve tell us the story, and exactly. then we'll we'll chat about it. You know, a segregated society. Probably the greatest show that we did was the concert in the park in 1985, which was the first multiracial concert in South Africa. Yes, and was such a beautiful experience. Um, you know. Ellis Park takes 70,000 people when it's full. There were 110,000 people there. And it was incredible. Um, the two bands that really stand out were Jaluka uh, with Johnny Clegg and Sipo. Yeah. And I mean, the place, they really held that 110,000 people in the palm of their hand. And the other great act was Lucky Dubé. And yes. one just saw the, the power of music to heal, to bridge divides, to bring people together and you just realized what a connection everybody has through music the legend that is steve lowe um from big sky he did you say he's 68 now yeah well i googled <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah 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 fair yeah, enough yeah um and i guess back in 85 well he would have been substantially younger in his late 30s uh, is it, yeah, that more in 19, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe late 20s, yeah. actually. <laughs> Working <laughs> out in our brains. <laughs> um, and just just hearing the story of him performing with Jaluka uh, and all of those bands of the time, that must have been groundbreaking mm. for him. Absolutely. What And Ellis Park. So it, that's where it was. Yeah. That was a massive gig. Exactly, completely. I totally get what he says around music being unif unifying yeah. and so on and so forth. So I've been to now over 85, 90 concerts over the years. Right. My parents taught me young. But the one thing I get challenged with at concerts is that I'm not a person that drinks. And I find a lot of people go there just to drink. Mm. So as much as it's, it's bonding and unifying, I, yes, I agree. But it's also, for me, it's a bit frustrating because you have all these drunk people around you expecting you to act like they want you to act. And I'm like, no, I'm not going there. <laughs> so... I don't mean to deviate from what uh -huh. the story is. It is unifying, but I just wish people could enjoy it soberly. If that's what. <laughs> but 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 the one common thread, uh, and, yes. and let's not let's not focus on the drinking so much. Yeah, is they're sorry. there for the music. Oh, exactly. Yeah, so they it's are about there the music. music. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, the full was it a great interview? Did you oh, get yeah. lots out of him? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, Steve Lowe and Barrett chat. Uh, go and check out the podcast. It's up at nova.com.na under the blog section. Um, I haven't listened to the full podcast. I just listened to the clip, obviously. Mm. Uh, I'm very keen to go and listen to that. So go check it out. Uh, Celeb Savant Barrett chatting to Steve Lowe from Big Sky. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. If you want to find Barrett on social media, all of the platforms except for, except for X and Twitter, uh, you can go and follow at Celeb Savant. Barrett Edelstein will join us next week. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Bye.